Hi guys, welcome back to Tech Trick Tutorial. Today we're going to talk about Imagine AI Art Generator. How to use Imagine AI Art Generator. It's a step-by-step -step guide to follow easily. So don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Let's dive right in. Now in today's video, we will be exploring and showing you how to use this platform called Imagine AI. Now Imagine AI is a platform that allows you to generate AI image generator. So, just like other platforms out there, it has the option or the feature to convert text to image. But it also has other features such as image remix, which would allow you to reimagine your images using props and alter details with one click. An example over here, as you can see, you can convert an image of a hut into something else, as you can see here. You can also do something called in painting where you could alter and remove elements from images using masking. You could change around different elements, and as you can see here on the example, they removed this can and replaced it with a soda, or rather, an orange juice. Another feature that they have is expand image, as you can see, which would allow you to expand the image that you have already generated or an image that you have uploaded. And the last one is the background replace. Now in today's video, we will be mainly exploring the text-to-image, the most basic feature of this type of platform. So, simply click on Generate Art over here. I'm going to open it in a new tab. Now what I love to do or what I usually do, especially when using an AI generator, is to explore their community showcase. But unfortunately, right now, as you can see, for this platform, it is coming soon. So we can't really see it yet. So that's something this platform is lacking also let's go and check it out then over here as you can see this is where we will be able to generate our props very simple very easy to navigate although there is a lot of paywall or restriction in this platform as you can see here on the left side you have a restriction on the aspect ratio you can't really use other types of ratio as you can see unless you upgrade your plan which we will check out later also for their models, we have all of this option. We have the version 5, version 4, version 3, realistic vision, version 2, and version 4.1. This is for premium once again. The beta is also for premium. Now, depending on the type of output that you're trying to produce, if you're trying to produce something unrealistic or a bit fantasy, I suggest that you use the imagined versions as you can see here. The Imagine 4 and the Imagine version 3. If you're trying to produce something realistic, you could use realistic vision over here or use anime version 2 if you're trying to produce anime outputs. Let's produce an output with Imagine V4 for now. We could also add styles. The art styles allows users to generate images using a specific style. These are predefined styles designed by their team or the team of Imagine AI. So if you select this, as you can see, you have all of the style, you have cinematic render, GTA, Picasso, or extraterrestrial. Let's select cinematic render. We can also enable high resolution, but this is once again for a premium version. And then you have your negative prop over here. If you don't know what a negative prop is, basically a negative prop tells the AI model anything that you don't want to see on the image. For example, I have generated a fruit of salad or a bowl of fruit salad. And I don't like to see the image of an orange. So if I type orange on the negative prop, it will of course instruct the AI not to put that into your output. There's also CGF scale over here. This is the description. It adjusts how much the image will be like your prop. So basically this is the prop scale. The higher this is, the more or the output of the quality or the output of Imagine AI will be closer to your prop and it gives less room for creativity. You also have your step scale. As you can see, the higher the step scale value results in a higher output quality. But it will take longer to generate the result. And you also have your seed over here. Basically, if you generated a, the same seed as something else, it will use the same seed as a basis. So you could think of it as a reference photo. A seed is something the AI will take reference in. Even if you ask the AI to generate dog twice, the reference of the AI or the basis of the AI that it will produce will be two different types of dogs. 
but if you have a specific seed it will have one type of reference so aside from that there's also the other options that we saw earlier the other options are coming soon but you can see the image remix over here over here on the left side there's all the collection these are the outputs that you have generated before <clears throat> Now let's see, let's generate our image. We could start with something very simple. Let's say a jellyfish flying through clouds. It's our spelling over here, clouds. And simply click on generate. Remember our models are imagined before, which is for something unrealistic. And then you have a cinematic render, which is a bit more I guess a lot of details you can disable this by the way if you don't want but there we go we have a very very high definition quality output over here with one by one aspect ratio you can see you could upscale this you could have some variation and you can also delete this or you know full view uh different things as well you can download this image as well so let's try upscaling this if you click on upscale, of course, it will improve or zoom in a bit the output. It will improve the details, make it more enhanced in a, in a way. And let's see the output that we will be able to produce. There we go. It's been upscaled. There's a bit more vibrant colors. It has more details. And you could see the other parts of it much more clearly compared to the other one. Let's add an additional prompt. Let's say bioluminescence. There we go. Then let's add neon light. Um, just like that. Let's fix our spelling for this one. There we go. And simply generate it once again. Let's see the difference between the first one and the second output that we will be generating. Also, we will be checking out the plan later on. But as you can see, we have now a better effect of our jellyfish. This has some lighting and like there's other stuff on the background as well. It's a bit more transparent with more details in, in, inside. Let's upscale it and let's see the difference between that one and the first one that we have generated. Let's also add some negative prop. Let's test out the negative prop over here. Uh, let's change our output over here to something else. Let's say uh, blue whale flying. Uh, let's fix it. A blue whale flying or swimming through an inside cloud then i would like the ai not to put other stuff so let's say other clouds let's just say one cloud as you can see here and as you can see also the upscale image has more details than the first one it's very similar but it has a lot more details it's more refined in a way so let's generate this one over here let's see the interaction between our main prop and this negative prop over here might take a while like i explained earlier also if you would like a better generation you could have it over here on the step scale as you can see it generated this so let's change this to water and uh, let's see the output we have our whale yes but i guess the negative prop and our original prop had some conflict so it didn't show any cloud so let's see there we go it's still water so let's change our prop let's just say flying and generate and if if it's still going to show us water i'm going to add ocean or sea in our negative prop so let's see here we go i did it again so let's add ocean and sea on our negative prop it's not always perfect and as you can see we will always have to do the regeneration or generating a new images that is something you have to get used to when generating ai but as you can see, it seems to be unable to produce the output that we are asking it to do. But anyway, let's check out the plans that is available in Imagine AI because of course, there is a lot of different features that we can't really access without the plan. So let's check out the plan. As you can see right now, we are using the free version. We are able to have some normal processing, basic styles and models, but we won't be able to have no watermark. So basically our Images over here, if you downloaded it, there will be some watermark. We don't have a commercial license and Android access. For the standard, we have yearly. Let's change it to weekly instead. Weekly, it will be $9. You all have this basic features as you can see here. All styles and models, no watermark. And you have this basic over here. 
The standard is the best one, which is the most popular right now. But the basic, as you can see, is $7, but it does not have Android access. And there's a lot of things that you could utilize Imagine for. It has a lot of potential. And depending on how you use it, you will be able to produce amazing outputs. And right now, I can't really see my personal feed. So if you generated your output, as you can see, this is where you will be able to see it on the left side. But if you leave this and you refreshed it or something like that, you will be able to lose all of your progress, of course. So if you like an output, simply download it right away. And so that's it, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.